Hello you guys, welcome to Journey with Char on this lovely Sunday. It is such a pretty day outside. As you can see, the sun is peeping through just a little bit. I come to you today because I am going to attempt to do my first charcuterie board. I hope I am pronouncing that right. Charcuterie board, cheese board, you, you get the drift. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every single item that I purchased here to build this little cute board. Cannot wait. This is gonna be a very small board for probably around about five people okay for five people so I wanted to show you what I got first which is the fruit I chose fresh fruit because I didn't want um, dry fruit fresh fruit is always best so we have some of these organic um, uh, blueberries and then over here we have two of these Kiku apples that I have just been I have fallen in love with from Trader Joe's y'all. They are so delicious and they are called the Kiku Apple. So good. So if you're in your local Trader Joe's, make sure you try out the Kiku Apple. Nicely sweet and crisp. And then over here from Trader Joe's as well, I got this adorable, I mean this beautiful fig goat cheese log. So let's see if that's going to act right. So it's the fig goat cheese log and it is um, fig all on the outside of that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can't wait to try that. And then the board that I have here is also a cheese board that I got or a cutting board that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm going to add to this cheese board these adorable um, uh, my advent calendar, the Bamamon advent calendar. I'm going to add these. And this is the Maribel plum, which is absolutely delicious. And then here we have the the seedless raspberry you guys absolutely delicious so we have two of those i have the little spoon that i've been having for years here and then over here we got the whole kosher dill cocktail pickles i did not have um did not see any of the real tiny ones that they use so i this is the closest that i can find so i got these instead i have some organic um grapes here i have a cheese sticks that i got from um, um, World Market. We have some wafer cookies, just to have a little bit of uh, sweet on the side. And then we have these scalloped cracker trios from Trader Joe's. And these are um, the rosemary and garlic red chili crackers. They are so phenomenal and perfect for this cheese board. I got this from the Trader Joe's cheese collection. If you guys wanna see where this came from, you can look on my Trader Joe's haul. You will see all of the different honeys. Those are two different honeys I have raisin and rosemary crisp here and this is with yellow raisins you guys absolutely cannot wait to taste that he said it was delicious the guy that was helping me at Trader Joe's and then we have these olive snacks I'm just I just got a little bit of olives and that is from World Market we have the roasted unsauced salted pistachios here and this is from 365 which is Whole Foods we have Trader Joe's raw walnuts and then here I have the um, imported from Italy, Veroni. Um, this is the meats that I'm going to use today. And this is salami, different salamis. These are the salamis that they are. If you can see that, I hope you can. And then we have this tapas. This is a Spanish cheese, you guys. The guy at Trader Joe's was so helpful. It was like three women there all doing the same thing. And he was telling us what cheeses were really, really good. So this is one. It is the Spanish cheese tapas sample. And that is the, I don't even want to pronounce it and mess it up, but those are the three choices. And he said, these are really good. I love Mancheco. But he said, these are really, really good because they're already cut up. You don't have to worry about that pretty cut when you put them on the board. That That's what makes the board so pretty. And then this is the slicing brie. Mom and I tried these. Uh amazing absolutely love this cheese so we will add this and then this is the uh i don't even want to pronounce it le rustique I, I hope that's it <laughs> and this is a camembert bear um or camembert however you want to pronounce it and this is the cheese here i just took that off the top just want you to see what that says there and it is just so it's just packaged so cute absolutely love the packaging on this cheese and so and then under here is the Pioneer Woman's Board that I have never used. So I said, you know what? This would be perfect for me to use the Pioneer Woman's Board today. So, And also, you guys, this little Christmas tree mug, 
Oh my gosh, I found both of these at the 99 cent store. They were each, I went to two different 99 cent stores and at each one, they were the last one left. They are so adorable, telling me that is not the most adorable mug and I'm so happy I found those. Went to two different ones and found one in each. And so yeah, that's what that looks like, cute little mug. And then we have our festive penguin friend here. He's been showing up in all of my videos. And we're gonna name him Sam the Penguin. His name is Samuel. Isn't he cute? He is so adorable. And so that is everything for this cheese board. This chaturi board. So yeah, let's get it going, you guys. Hopefully everything will look beautiful. And in the end, just wanted you to see what all, in case you're doing one, what all I got. And also, got. let me tell you guys, the Pinterest pages, have really been a big help with these cheese boards, these charcuterie boards, just giving ideas and also Instagram. Been seeing a lot of them on Instagram and that's why I was inspired to do one. So let's see how everything turns out. Let me get started showing you guys. Um, I unwrapped the Pioneer Woman cutting board my first time ever using it. What I love about this cutting board is that it matches the flowers you can use this year round, literally. You can use this in the summer, you can use this in the spring, you can use this for um, uh, Christmas, and you can also use it for Valentine's Day. So adorable. And uh, it's such a good weight. So it has her little stamp there. But what I love about this cutting board, which I will always use it as a cheese board. You can flip it if you don't want the flowers to show and you just want more of a natural, just, you know, beautiful cutting board that does not have any kind of um, prints or anything on it. You can flip it over and use it that way. Look at the beautiful tones to this wood. Absolutely amazing. That's why I chose this one. And I love that you can use it reverse. So you can use this as a cutting board or you can use this as a chaturi uh, board. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Cheese board. So today we're gonna use it this way because it is more festive. So I've already cleaned it. I've already cleaned this one and I'm gonna leave that burnt because I think that gives it character. It's just so pretty. So now what we're gonna do, I washed some grapes here and we're gonna lay some of these grapes on this board. Y'all, I'm just gonna play with it first and see how everything goes. So we're gonna play with it because that's a lot of grapes. So we're gonna see. I looked online to see, but I'm gonna try by myself first and then get ideas from online. So those are the grapes, which are absolutely delicious. So I was thinking with this cute little Christmas mug that I got, with these, I was thinking about standing these up in that cute little Christmas mug. So let's see how that works. All right, so that's what that looked like, and I wanna show you each cracker that I'm using. So for these, these are the cheese sticks, um, original cheddar cheese sticks, and it's by John, that brand, okay? And I got these from World Market, and they absolutely look delicious. They're very, very pretty. So let's take some of these out, and we're gonna stick some of these in there, and people can just grab and help themselves to the cheese sticks. Let's get one that looks more prettier than that one. Look at that, isn't that cute? So adorable. And I'm going to taste one and just see how it tastes. So now we have those little cheese sticks. So let me taste this a little bit. Mmm, tastes just like cheddar. Very, very good, it is cheddar and it's representing. Okay, now, the next thing that I was thinking of doing I have these toothpicks, so I'm gonna roll up the meat. I'm gonna roll up the meat and put the toothpick in it. Now, let's go to the crackers while mommy's opening that for me. These are the scalloped trio crackers. So we're gonna open these. So we're gonna use all three of these crackers and we're gonna layer them. And that is the rosemary, um, red chili and garlic crackers. How delicious. So let me get these open, you guys. I'm trying not to crack any of them. Okay, you guys, so I have the crackers open. So I was thinking, should I layer them right in front of that? Like so, let me show you. Like so, because those are there. I'm gonna do 
we have about what's good about these is that once everybody's tasted them and liked them and you see that they're becoming scarce on the board you can fill them back up okay so now we're going to layer these they're so pretty like so do it like that like so and that is the rosemary so we layered the rosemary mm, these are the i think these are the rosemary no the garlic these are the garlic ones you guys so we're going to layer it like that like so it's looking pretty already you get so nervous. I like. I'm, I, I have to get out of that, y'all. This year, I said I'm gonna try stuff. I have been wanting to try, and I am not gonna be doing that nervous thing. Okay, so that is the rosemary and the garlic. Those are those, and now we're doing the chili flavor. Okay, so then I'm gonna put that right here. The chili one, two, three. Four. Five. I think these are just so elegant and so nice to greet your guests as to have at a um get together. So nice. So I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit so that there we go. So we're gonna kind of bring it over like that. Isn't that cute? So far, I'm liking what I see, you guys. I'm liking what I see. Okay, so now we have these little pickles here. So I was trying to figure out, and you guys let me know. Well, in the end, it's going to be what it is. So these are little. They have the really tiny ones, but I cannot find. Y'all, everybody must be doing these boards. So I said, you know what? I'll just um, get this size, the kosher um, cocktail pickles, and I said, I'll just use that. So... We're going to put some, this looks like a small one. We're going to put these pickles here. Y'all, my hands are clean. Oh my God, they're so good. <laughs> mm, they are so delightful. I'm not into the sprout ones though. What's up with the sprouts being on there? Okay. Really, really cute. I'm trying to get the longer ones, you guys. really cute I'm excited how you guys thinking I'm doing so far so that is really cute so so far we have our little tiny kosher pickles we have our crackers here we have that then we want to add a little bit of rosemary for decoration I'm gonna put this honey there for anybody who wants to drizzle honey so now with these I'm gonna open these and I'm gonna stick this in the middle. So before I open them, these are the pitted green olives that I'm gonna use. And um, I got these from World Market, okay? So we're gonna open these. And look how pretty they are in there. So we have those olives there. Got a little bit of rosemary there, some olives. And now with these crackers, because I'm giving more than just a option not everybody may not want that kind of cracker they may want this kind of rustic cracker so this is the raisin rosemary crisp i'm going to open these up and i'm going to spread these i think i'm going to put some of those over here so let's see let's get the olives in first you guys can you open that package while i'm doing the olives mommy is so helpful you guys so there we go. And it'd even be pretty if you did like um, black olives and the green olives. But today we're going to do both of these are going to be all green, y'all. All green today. All right. So that is really, really pretty. So we got the olives in. We got a little bit of honey. We got a cheese sticks. We have the rosemary and the um, chili and the garlic crackers here. And then now we're going to use this raisin cracker. So let's see. I'm going to stick some of these here, right here in the corner. So y'all probably like, where is the cheese? Where's the star of the show? 
I'm about to pull that cheese out in just a minute, y'all. Hold on. So we're going to put some of those right here in the corner. Let's taste these. Mmm. It has a slight sweet taste, which will be excellent with like goat cheese. So this is really pretty. And I love this look because they're not uniformed and it's more rustic looking. Right? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Okay, so we're going to put some of those there. And then what we're going to do is stick a little bit of rosemary right there. So y'all think that's pretty? Ooh, she's excited. I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all. Okay, so we're going to put that up. Then next, I'm going to use some nuts. So I'm going to use some of these walnuts. So I'm just going to put a handful of walnuts right there. Just a handful of walnuts right there and then maybe a little handful up here in the corner put some rosemary there rosemary here a little bit more so we got some nuts there so we have some nuts there mommy's gonna open the pistachio a little bit no more nuts fill this corner up a little bit more nuts y'all i see why it gets so full so so far that's what we have and it's looking so pretty okay you guys so why mommy is getting the cheeses out for me i wanted to put a little bit of sweets on here since we already have it represented there so we're going to um, start layering the cookies on this board so i just opened it and we got these cookies from um trader joe's and that is what is on the side that is what they are each one hold on let me get that so these are what's going on the milk chocolate um you want this cutting yes half dip florentines this one is the dark chocolate half dip florentine this one is the butter wafer cookie um and it comes in two different hold on and it comes in two different looks but same cookie and then down here is the butter almond thin cookie which I love and then this one is the um, chocolate covered cocoa cinnamon cookie all right you guys so we're gonna open this up and start layering stay tuned this is so beautiful look at these cookies they're so pretty you just want to leave them in the container so now what I'm going to do instead of using this I can add more cheese to that and instead of using this to um, put over there, what I'm gonna do is use my white my white cake plate because these cookies are so pretty and such a pretty color that I'll be able to use my white cake um, cake plate. No. So this right here, we're gonna put this down because this is where I'm gonna cut the cheese. So until mommy gets the cheese out for me, and that is my Christmas glass. Um, cutting board because I don't want to because I don't want to cut on my beautiful woods I'm going to use that to cut the cheeses up so you guys will see me do that in the kitchen probably so now this is what we have so far I have to cut these apples up and so far this is what we have you guys I went to the store yesterday and these little knife cheese knives are perfect for this they do have the different three sets where you can do the pick and all the different ones but those were more affordable to um, for me right now and I said this will work out perfect so now what we're gonna do put this festive little plate there and we're going to layer the cookies on top of here so that is gonna be really, really pretty. So let's layer some cookies on top here. And I love that it's white. It looks like it is, and I got this years ago from Anthropology. Okay, and so <clears throat> then we have these little guys. So beautiful. Look how festive that looks. So, so pretty. And then, we have these beautiful mint cookies. I mean, um, these beautiful almond cookies. Look how lovely that is. So I'm thinking, you guys, let me turn this around so that it can be more room, right? Perfect. So instead of doing them the long way, short, I mean, 
we're gonna do it this way so that we can have more space to put the cookies and it can look more full on this cookie uh, display. How cute is that? Much better, right? Okay, and then we can do the almond, same way. Absolutely beautiful. And these are actually the three, so pretty. Okay, so we have that and it's so elegant and pretty. And we can put some of those there, some of those there, like so. They're pretty. Isn't that pretty? Such an elegant cookie. And then even some on the other side, just to fill in. And I think that that's really pretty. And then people can just grab and go. These are so lovely. Mom, did you want to try one? And so I still have some waffles mm. left. Is it lovely? Mm -hmm. And there we go. So you guys, that is the display for the cookies. So we did pretty good with that. So we can use this right here now for the, um, the cheeses. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some blueberries. So mommy just cleaned some blueberries for me. And we want to make sure that the blueberry is not like this. You want to make sure your blueberries are firm when you're adding in your blueberries. All right, so you guys, that's what we have so far. So we have the crackers. We got some rosemary here on the side. We have our um, some walnuts. We have walnuts here. We have some grapes. We have some blueberries. We have um, the beautiful, what you call it? So now what we need to do, I need to roll up the meat. So mommy, can you get the meats and stuff out of the refrigerator for me? Okay, you guys, so I just cut out one of these and I'm just gonna go around and cut little Be wedges. Careful, it, not so sharp. it is a very sharp knife. And there we go with the little wedges. Okay, you guys, so let me finish cutting this up so I don't bore you. And that is where the apples are. So right now, just for our show, I'm gonna cut up when more people, when people start coming in, I'm gonna cut up more. But that is where we're at right now. We might not need to use this apple. So that's where we're at so far. Okay, now, the stars of the show were going. So, so far we have the cookies, and I even added the little houses. We have the honey here, we have the cheese straws, we have walnuts, apples, we have the three different tra um, crackers, we have the blueberries, we have pistachios, we have walnuts again, we have the olives, and I'm going to find something to stick these in. And then um, we have our grapes here. And now the stars of the show are the cheeses. So we want to take this cheese out. And I love, I want to leave it in. I just want to leave this cheese on the red and white and open that. So let me open it, you guys, and then um, I'll let you see. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so we're opening the can of bear cheese right now. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna stick that there. Isn't that pretty? And then we can even stick some rosemary behind that. Add a little bit of rosemary. All right, now, this is when it started to show. Now remember, I told you, I'm doing like a trial. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I might even use this guy, huh? I think I can. That's the joy of using all of these is that let's put, we can use this guy. Bam. That's your Christmas. And he is Christmas. He fits in the thing perfectly. I think so. And what we're going to do is put that there so people can grab the cheese. Now we have this fig log here. So I'm going to open the fig log. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Mm -hmm. And then we have this brie here. So mm -hmm. this is the brie that we're about to use. And I'm gonna layer that cheese here. And then we're gonna layer that. And then we're going to add the meats. I'm gonna roll them up and stick little toothpicks in them. So you guys stay tuned for that. 
Let me wipe my hands. Very good that you, in between, that you keep your hands clean. And a lot of people cut this with, um, a lot of people cut this with floss, but I don't have floss today, y'all. So she's just gonna pray and cut this. So what we're gonna do is not use that one. We're oh, gonna cut that. Yeah, because it does so evenly, yeah. Huh. So that's what that looks like, you guys. So we're gonna stick that there. I'm gonna do, thank God for this little sharp knife because I would not know what to do. So we're gonna layer that. And I love when it's layered, it's easier for the guests to pick up. And I'm not, I'm, I'm really surprised that I'm doing this without looking at somebody else's idea. I did get some ideas by just looking. But I said, you know what? I want that to. That That's a pretty thick piece, but oh well. Everybody loves cheese. Isn't that beautiful? That is. Nice. That is so pretty. Okay, so before I add any more, if I need to, we're going to open up this. And this is that Spanish cheese. And look at that. That's already cut. And it's just so beautiful. And we got three different so let's put that there oh how pretty is that oh i just tore one but we're still gonna use that guy still gonna use him that's okay okay be very gentle it's a soft cheese and then we have that let's put him like so well, he was in the middle, so we're going to put this like so. And just stick him just like that. And I'll make sure I get that one today. <laughs> and then we're going to stick that there. And we can even have it where they're not so close together. We can even have we can even have it where they're not so close together. So we're going to stick that. Are you showing me putting that over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, these look so amazing. Put that there. And put that there. And then, last but not least, we have this cheese. Oh, be careful, Char. Put that there. Put that there. And what I love about these boards, honestly, you guys... They're your own creation. So if anybody's like, you didn't do that right. It's that person's own creation. And I'm going to, it's like, you just, it's so fun. I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to add one more there. Cut that. Okay, you guys. So. Say, for instance, you didn't want any meat, okay? <laughs> Let me cut this guy a little bit. So we're gonna cut that. And we're gonna do it like that. Oh, wow. That is amazing. This right here is really, he said it was good. And that fig is so strong. That fig with that goat cheese is incredible. All right, now. This is everything we have so far. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so this is everything we have so far. I'm going to do it really, really slow. And this will be pretty if I can find a ribbon or something to put under there. You can really be creative, you guys. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. My first Shaturi board. Okay, Chaturi, Chaturi. Yeah, I would learn to say it right. And then this is that. I'm thinking about cutting a little wedge in there. And um, now it's meat time. So I'm going to roll this up so you guys stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So I just cut this. And it is a very, I love this cheese. And that's what it looks like, okay? Very beautiful. And I'm going to leave that red and white checker there because I just think it just really adds something to the board and now um, we're going to do the meat. I'm going to roll the meat up and we'll place it, okay? I'm so glad I brought this cutting board out because, and it would be so wonderful if everything, you had different layers, I've seen that, but for my first time, I'm really feeling good about myself. <laughs> 
really feeling good for my first time. All right, you guys, so stay tuned as I get ready to roll the meat and layer it, and that will finish up the charcuterie board. And then when the guests come, it'll already be out. So you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, so now what I'm going to start doing, mommy's gonna help me out here. I'm going to take the meats and I'm gonna roll them up like so, really pretty. And then I'm going to just take one of these toothpicks and people can just, this is just to keep them closed. Okay, right? So we're gonna stick some of that there. And I might not even be doing this roll up cube tip um, <laughs> uh, toothpick thing, right? But y'all bear with me. So we're gonna roll that up. Nice. And I think, is it okay to put the toothpick through it like that? I don't want people to stick themselves though. So we're gonna do it this way. Mm -hmm. So they can just grab, let's do this one a little bit more better. A little bit more tighter. There we go. They know your hands are clean. Oh, my hands are clean, honey. Let me tell y'all, I do not play around with fixing stuff and your hands are not clean. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, and so we're gonna grab some of this meat here and I'm going to roll this up. Just let you guys see. I'm not gonna let you see me roll every single one because I don't want to bore you. Okay, so let me wipe my hands in between because I don't know if meat mixing, whatever. But I'm wiping my hands in between each one. And so that is that. Okay, you guys, so that's what I have so far for the meat section. So beautiful. And you don't have to add meat. Literally, this can just be all just vegetables and whatever. So there's a little section that I have here that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more crackers there. Hold on one moment. Let's get some of these crackers. Get them there, get them there. And then we'll be done. That'll be my first charcuterie board, you guys. I hope you like this idea. If this is your first time, learn with Char on how to do these charcuterie boards. That's even cute if that stays like that. So yes, learn with Char how to do these little boards. Oh, I also fact, forgot to mention you guys, I got both of these. This was from the Dollar Tree and I got this cute lace table um, runner from the 99 cent store. I am so excited. This is my finished charcuterie board. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm just too happy for my first time. I'm very, very excited. So let me go over everything again. These are the cheese straws. This is some walnuts and I have some dried rosemary here. I have my apples and my three crackers, the chili, the rosemary, and the garlic. We have here some olives, some blueberries. We have some pistachio nuts. We have more walnuts here. And then we have these crackers that were raisins with rosemary, fresh grapes. We have those pickles there, some Trader Joe's honey, which is fantastic. Y'all need to go out and grab that. It's a perfect gift set. We have these beautiful, elegant cookies from Trader Joe's. And then I have my two jams that I've been getting from my advent calendar. I'm so excited about the rest of them. Can't wait to see which more flavors, what more flavors I'll discover. More crackers here. We have the camembert um, cheese from France. And these cute little 99 cent store mugs that will hold the utensils for all of this stuff. We have more walnuts here. And we have the cheeses that I showed you. This fig one with the goat cheese, you guys. Oh my goodness. If you like that sour with sweet, that sharp with sweet, this is it right there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Pretty, pretty beautiful log. And then we have some a little bit more pistachio here. We have some... Um, rolled up meats. You don't have to add meat to this spread. You can just let it just be cheese, fruits, and crackers, but I just wanted to add a little bit of meat. And then we have the different cheeses here, the Spanish cheese, and then we have the beautiful um, Gouda. More rosemary, more walnuts, more pistachios. And that completes everything. I am just 
floored y'all first time and what i love about this is that you can create it yourself don't follow at first i was going to look on youtube or instagram and say okay so let me see how she did this but then i said to myself you know what let me do my own creation this was off the top of my head from what i remember from many many um pictures that I've seen I said okay so let me just do my own creation so if you want to add any tips without harsh criticism please say oh you should add this next time I'm all about taking in tips on tips and learning more this is my first time and I love it and those of you who have never tried it give it a try perfect for your party guest dinner guest um, just if you have some girlfriends coming over and you guys just want to watch a movie, little perfect, um, little spread to put out. Absolutely so happy about this. I am very, very excited. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in with Journey with Shari. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Also give me a thumbs up and also let me know your tips below. And if you've never done this before, let me know, Hey, you know what? I want to try it now let me tell you it's kind of therapeutic because you're just like creating I love it love it love it love it and this is the peppermint candle from um, um, um bed um bath and body works that's the peppermint candle from bath and body works so thank you so much for tuning in please give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and also subscribe if you find my channel interesting those of you who are oldie but goodies thank you so much for staying faithful to me and those of you who are new to my channel welcome i appreciate you hitting that subscribe button welcome to my family and so yes you guys have a lovely week to come a blessed week to come be safe because we're getting close to christmas a lot of shopping a lot of traffic a lot of drivers out there that are not being safe so you guys be safe i'm wishing you all the best may you have a blessed week to come I'll see you soon. Stay tuned. And remember, Merry Christmas. Trust God. Keep him first. And he'll always lead you in the right direction. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys be blessed. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.